So I'm in the process right now of expanding out my workshop and I need to upgrade some of my tools. Mainly, this welding kit. Now don't get me wrong, these mini welding kits are great and they're easily hot enough to do most of the small brazing and welding jobs that I need. But there is one thing that annoys me about them, which means I don't use it nearly as much as I should. Here, I'll show you. See, these are the issue. Gas bottles that always seem to run out when you need them most. See, I want something that's permanent and doesn't cost me anything to run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build something called an HHO generator. It will basically give me an unlimited supply of gas so that I can weld or melt things. Now, the first thing I'm going to make is... Um... Sorry to pause here, but I've just been editing and I've realised that I haven't really explained what HHO is or what the benefits of it really are. So, let me show you now. So in order to get a gas that I can burn in a torch, I'm going to be using a process called electrolysis. This involves using electricity to split water into its component parts, namely hydrogen and oxygen. These gases can then be burned with a torch, reforming the water in the process. Now there's a couple of nice things about this process. The first is that as long as I have electricity, I can have an unlimited supply of gas without needing to worry about bottles of gas running out. The second is that the ratio of gases that comes off this process is already the exact right mix needed for the best and hottest burn. Hydrogen and oxygen burn at around 3000 degrees, which is getting close to oxycetylene temperatures. Right, so I guess I better start making it now. Now sometimes you don't want 100% of the power all the time. With normal torches, you can control the flame size by adjusting the valves on the torch. But with this design, I have to use another method. If I put less power in, the plates will make less gas, which means a lower pressure and a smaller flame. I'm going to do this power adjustment with a process called PWM, or pulse width modulation. This involves turning the power on and off many times a second, with the amount of power being the ratio between the on and the off time. With a small on time, just a small amount of power is being allowed through. And with a large on time, a much greater amount is pushed through. This is a cool technique to use when you don't want to adjust the voltage going through something, as the voltage in an electrolysis cell is quite sensitive. Now this project hasn't been without its setbacks. The problem with electrolysis is that it's an incredibly hostile environment to the tanks. 
meaning that you need to use some very unreactive and inert metals for the plates inside. I first tried using titanium, but I soon found out that it grows an insulating and protective oxide coating that stops it working almost immediately. So then I switched them out for 316L stainless steel. You have to be careful with stainless, as the plates do react slowly to make some unpleasant compounds, so you need to be aware of that. However, I think either I'm doing something wrong, or I was missold a different type of steel, as I'm getting some really bad plate corrosion that I can't seem to fix. I'd love to know if you guys have any suggestions on what I may have done wrong, or how I could fix it. The ideal material to use is platinum coated titanium for the electrodes, but platinum is so expensive that it's a little out of my reach. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, it's been a challenging project for sure. I would have got more shots of it working, but the stainless plates have actually corroded a bit too much. I'll keep working on it though, and if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer them in the comments.